Hey guys, this is Purple Ranger, and here's part six. Now, sorry, I meant to say part and then part five, the last one. Um, I forgot to mention after uh, the Baltimore Comic Con, I got inspired to, I got the inspiration for a brand new Power Ranger team. I won't say what the team is, but I was inspired by um, having the Rangers be cosplayers. You know, at least the day on the day they're chosen. I won't say what's going to go on, but I got, but I will say how they end up end up in the base of operations for the first time. I got inspired by something else. But that's all I'm going to say about it. And I'm not sure if I mentioned this in the previous part, uh, in the previous part when I talked about Otacon, but I decided to change the pink ranger of my six teams um, occupation to something else because I got a r really great idea for an episode of uh, for that team. So Now anyway, um, I'm going to give my thoughts on something that aired on the Sci-Fi Channel late last year. The Tuesday after Otacon, the Sci-Fi Channel premiered Hero, the show Heroes of Cosplay, which follows several cosplayers, in, in, such as Becky Young, Monica Lee, Holly, and Jessica of Crab Cat Industries, um, and, and Yaya Han, who is the ambassador of cosplay. It primarily focuses on like on them building their costumes and you know what they had to go through in the process of it. You know them attending co conventions. Some of them, I, I, like, namely Yaya, judging contests, while the rest compete, and the costumes they all made were, well, I think, were amazing. I mean, this show actually finalized my, uh, like, solidified my fandom and and fascination with cosplay. I mean, if I had any, art, any artistic abilities, you know, that would, allow, that would allow me to design and make something, I'd be able to make something pretty cool. But hopefully someday I will be able to. But anyway, I mean, I I don't I mean I heard a lot of bad stuff about it, but you know what? I I just ignore those because I found this show to be really cool. Because for me it was all about the cosplays, and I just I mean I just really I thought it was really awesome, and I can't wait for for the next. And the only downside was that there were six only six episodes. The Sci-Fi sci Channel should have gone with at least at least at least twenty, and then. You know, before 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 they stopped airing it, but I found out recently that they are going to be airing season 1.5 soon, which uh, I which is actually going to be at the uh, like literally a week before my birthday, so that's pretty awesome. I can't wait for the, I can't wait to see it. Uh, but yeah, and as uh, as a result of the show, I've actually become a fan, a fan of all these people, of all of the people that they fo that the show followed. Um, and it's just really, I really, I mean, I find their cosplays to be really, like I said, I'm sorry if I keep repeating myself, but I find it to be really amazing. I mean, there were cosplays, I mean, like, um, like, like, original Dungeons and Dragons characters. Characters from Al, from Alice in Wonder, from Alice in, from, um, an Alice in Wonderland. Uh, um, Assassin's Creed, Black Flag. I think that's what it was. I have, I have to check on that one. You know, various video games. Uh, oh, How to Train Your Dragon, which was, which I thought was pretty wicked. And I know my friend Beth, Bethany, when she finally saw it, was like, oh, oh man, because she's a dra big dragon fan. And I, but, but yeah, I mean, overall, great show. Now, um, this past October, Melanie came to town, and. You know, we primarily so we could just hang out because you know we we hang out only once a only once a year because you know she lives in Delaware, I live down here in Virginia, and 11 years ago this past February was when we met face to face. We actually met on actually in this past October was 11 years that we became friends. So, and so, and we chose the weekend that the Washington Redskins were to play the Dallas Cowboys for the first time uh, that, uh, during the during season the season. Now the Redskins did lose, but um, that was that may, and that was the focal like one of the focal points of, of the weekend. But it wasn't the only thing that went on that weekend. Melanie and I both got our Pokemon X and Y games from the GameStop up here near my house, up, up, up near near my house, and it was our first 3DS games. And since Melanie didn't have a 3DS at that point, I let her borrow mine, and so so that she could at least download the Torchic. And of course, we got some really cool posters. We did not get the strategy guide because of a shipping error, and so I didn't get my strategy guide until like two weeks uh, later that later later in that month. But 
it's but but still and the graphics are pretty awesome pretty amazing I'll get my thoughts later uh, like another time now and then then of course we picked up Bethany from the Metro and then we met up with Sarah at, at Tyson's where if you saw one of my recent video uploads we uh the three of us took Bethany to the Redskins store again <laughs> Oh man, and that was pretty fun. I mean, we just kept making, we kept teasing her, but you know, Beth, Bethany's cool. Bethany was cool. With, cool was cool with it. And you know, we had lunch there. Then we took Sarah home, and then the three of us just spent the rest of the weekend watching, uh, hanging out, and watching the Redskins game. There were four minor pro uh, f uh, four problems, uh, minor problems, which I won't go into, but uh, I'll just say they should not have happened, and I will leave it at that. And, well, I saw a ton of Mustangs that weekend, too. This ends part six.